This is your National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi with a special weather briefing for the NWS Jackson, Mississippi forecast area for January 5th, 2025. The main updates for today is the potential for severe weather today through tonight. We'll go over the timing with the start just after noon near the Mississippi River, ending around midnight in eastern Mississippi. Expectations today are 70 mile per hour winds, uh, tornadoes possible, I can't rule out a strong tornado as well, quarter size hail uh, for any of the more isolated storms ahead of a uh, sweeping line. Gradient winds will be gusty, 25 to 35 mile per hour sustained and 40 to 50 mile per hour gust with a current wind advisory in effect. Dangerous cold is also possible this week. Um, in the wake of this, there will be a big swing in temperatures with lows in the 20s and wind chills in the mid-teens. We'll also lastly go over winter weather potential. It is low uh, in the northern ports, portions of our area late week into next weekend. Here's the current radar across the area uh, as of just before, uh, right around 10 o'clock. Uh, we do have a few showers uh, developing, uh, but uh, more vigorous activity is expected later today. So here's a regional satellite and lightning across the region. Uh, it is a quiet morning, but we are expecting increased activity spreading in from the west uh, this afternoon. And we currently uh, do have a tornado watch uh, just now in effect in portions of northeast Louisiana and southeast Arkansas uh, right up to the Mississippi River. And that goes through this evening. So the expectations as things become more prime uh, into the afternoon, uh, we do have an enhanced risk uh, west of the Interstate 55 corridor with the most primary zone of potential uh, northwest of the Natchez Trace and into the Mississippi Delta. Damaging winds up to 70 miles per hour. Tornadoes remain possible. Strong tornado can't be ruled out in this environment, especially in any isolated storms ahead of a sweeping line and then quarter size hail as well. Uh, further east, tornadoes and damaging winds remain the main concern, uh, but couldn't rule out if any stronger isolated cell develops for some hail. So in terms of the scenario, uh, severe storms, the evolution, uh, we, like I mentioned before, we do have isolated storms that could develop uh, later this afternoon, really around the noon time frame spreading eastward right through midday to uh, the evening hours into the Interstate 55 corridor and moving out into eastern Mississippi really close just before or uh, just after midnight uh, across the state lines. So uh, there is some potential uh, even up to the noon time frame that we uh, could see some activity over the next few hours. So there is a tornado watch in effect so that for those areas. So the main uh, takeaway is that isolated storms are possible near the Mississippi River uh, somewhere around the noon to 1 p.m. time frame uh, where our current tornado watch is in effect before a, squ a squall line uh, spreads eastward across the region today. Ahead of this storm, a strong low pressure system will bring gusty gradient winds. We're expecting sustained 25 to 35 miles per hour with some gust of 40 to 50 and a wind advisory is currently in effect. Some of that could occur within a few hour window of that line of storms um, moving into uh, the region. So there could be some portion of the time of the wind advisory um, that it is in effect uh, where it may not be as windy, but then within a few hours of those storms moving in, it could get a quite fre frequent gust uh, closing in on 40 to 50 miles per hour. So dangerous cold will be the story uh, for after these storms this week. We are expecting uh, temperatures, lows falling into the 20s, afternoon high temperatures uh, less than 40 degrees, and even in the Highway 82 corridor, struggling to reach above freezing with wind chills even into the mid-teens. So this could cause uh, hypothermia with prolonged exposure, uh, danger to exposed pipes, and um, definitely dangerous conditions. So make sure to check on uh, your, uh, your neighbors, your family, and uh, your pets and uh, make preparations now. So it is a roller coaster swing this week in temperatures uh, from near 70 degrees today to 
to really struggling to reach the lower 40s across the entire region through the majority of the week. Here's a little more uh, expansive uh, bit of temperature information across the region with, teen, or with lower 20s possible by mid to late week there around the Wednesday to Thursday timeframe. The wind chills will be dangerous this week, uh, especially tonight because the winds are so strong, we could reach uh, even as low as some of the, our early week portions, but we could reach into the teens. Uh, so teens definitely looks likely across a large portion of the area. And here's a wind chill forecast across the region. As mentioned before, teens look likely across a good portion of the week. So the precipitation chances will drop off after today, and then a system late in the week has potential to bring mixed precipitation in the northern portions of the area uh, late week and into early next weekend. So the precipitation chances are very high today, Sunday, and then moving in late Thursday and persisting into early Saturday. So the weather this week could be quite a bit of uh, storms, including severe weather today, a fairly quiet um, middle of the week and cold, and then a system will track along the northern Gulf Coast, bringing some potential for a wintry uh, mix to even uh, some light snow uh, across the northern portions of the area. Along the Interstate 20 corridor is a lower probability of a switchover and could change from uh, snow or wintry mix into uh, rain. However, any deviations in uh, further south track of that surface low could cause potential for more uh, changeover and more higher probability of impacts. Into the northern parts of the area in Highway 82 corridor, uh, the probabilities are uh, showing up uh, there for some low uh, impacts uh, across that area, so we're definitely monitoring uh, this system. Here's an outlook from the Weather Prediction Center of winter weather potential late week. Uh, this just even having some probabilities there uh, mentions that uh, there is definitely potential for accumulations, especially in north central Mississippi, southeast Arkansas, and into the mid south, uh, closer to the Memphis metro area, northern Mississippi. So, definitely uh, something to uh, monitor. Um, as we go through the week. Here's a probabilistic look uh, where we do have low probabilities, really less than 20% across most of the area outside of Southeast Arkansas and Northern Mississippi where there is some probabilities of minor, um, minor impacts with most of the moderate impact potential for much further north. This is still something we'll have to monitor very closely uh, because any change in the track um, or the evolution of the system could cause the potential for impacts to increase uh, further to the south, uh, even south of Highway 82. And some of that potential switchover, more non-impactful, could occur even into Saturday uh, in the wake of the, the main uh, low pressure system. So in summary, uh, with special weather briefing, uh, what we're anticipating severe weather today, uh, starting just after noon near the Mississippi River and ending around uh, midnight in eastern Mississippi. Could be potentially a, a give or take a few hours. Uh, expectations are 70 mile per hour winds, tornadoes possible, can't rule out a strong tornado, and quarter size hail, with the most of that concerns uh, long and west of Interstate 55. Uh, the sustained gradient winds are 25 to 35 miles per hour with gust 40 to 50. Current wind advisory is in effect. The dangerous cold through the entire week with lows in the 20s and wind chills in the mid teens, and then the winter weather potential uh, in the north late week into next weekend. So that's it with the, this briefing. If you have any questions, uh, you can call us at the number provided or contact us on social media. Thank you.